For those of y'all who were subscribed to my channel early on, I used to have a series of videos called DNU, which stood for Dumb Negroes United. If I was still doing that series of videos, this would fall right into that playlist. Because it's, I have to say it, this in which I'm about to discuss, I saw mainly, it didn't have to be only, but I saw mainly black people engaged in this foolishness. Very dumb ones at that. But to the smart ones out there who have no idea what it is that I'm talking about, I'm talking about this chase money glitch thing that's been going around on social media, or more so on TikTok, that has taken shape more so over Labor Day weekend. And look, let me tell you something. These individuals are not bright at all. Really not bright at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read this article and we're gonna go over this because I posted up a video involving these individuals down there in Houston and some other parts of the establishment where it was like 40 some out of them that uh, schemed and fraud, frauded people out of like 600,000 plus dollars using dark web data and people was leaving comments thinking that it was about the chase money glitch and I said you know what I'm gonna I'm probably talk about this and ironically when I was getting my hair braided today that topic of discussion actually came up so I said let me go ahead and just discuss this let me go ahead and get into it this story is coming off the New York Post and it was posted on September 1st 2024 a new TikTok trend has people posting their attempts to exploit a quote unquote glitch in Chase Bank ATMs that offer quote infinite free money, but quickly learning that a bank and its money are not so easily parted. Experts say the quote unquote glitch videos look an awful lot like check fraud, one of the oldest scams in the book. That's because that's actually what it is. Videos urging customers at the bank to take advantage of the glitch quickly took off online prompting people to deposit fake checks for large sums of money. The glitch would credit some of the sham deposits to the customer's accounts before the checks cleared. One video showed people lined up outside Chase locations in New York City allegedly looking to take advantage of the viral glitch to get free money one person wrote on X. But Chase quickly fixed the bug and is clawing back any money doled out to people who didn't deserve it. A spokesperson for Chase Bank told the Post consumers should be skeptical and if something seems too good to be true, it likely is. We are aware of this incident and it has been addressed. Regardless of what you see online, depositing a fraudulent check and withdrawing the funds from your account is fraud, plain and simple. The people who took advantage of the glitch were soon reporting that their accounts were locked and hit with massive negative balances. Let me just say something. That is exactly what the hell they get. I don't feel bad for neither, not near one of them. Y'all knew that y'all wasn't, how far did y'all really think this was going to go? Y'all were up against a bank, and to my knowledge, Chase is one of the biggest banks in the States. Did you really think that was going to happen? And then you posted this thing happening on TikTok. You don't think they don't, they're not monitoring social media accounts? They don't have someone running an account for them? Really? Come on now. Like, you, like people can't be that dumb, but I guess people can, unfortunately. One user posted deductions that labeled ATM deposit error totally nearly $40,000. Now, this particular one right here, this one that they just bought up, this is the video I think that really kick-started people really taking this seriously and realizing, uh-oh, we done, we done effed up. So basically, the, the, it was this video posted up on TikTok of this guy literally face palming himself, looked like he was about to shed tears. I'm gonna be honest, if I did something as dumb as he did and this was the, uh, the outcome, I would be too. So basically, he posted a video on TikTok and he had like $40,000 in his accounts. I think he had two different accounts. One had like 31,000 in it and another had like over almost 8,000. And he was so distraught because it was in the negatives. All of his accounts had a negative balance. Why? Because he was engaging in this quote unquote money glitch. So everybody, just understand this, that engaged in this most likely got one, a negative balance, and two, locked out of their account. I don't know to what 
uh, degree they're going to have to go to get that fixed. But um, I couldn't even imagine dealing with that. Oh, well, let's continue. For a short window, when the exploit seems to work, clueless social media users were exuberant. Chase customers shared videos of themselves dancing with joy and throwing handfuls of bills into the air right outside of Chase Bank in Yonkers. One clip shows a joyful bunch cruising with their heads stuck, sticking out of car windows and their Chase cards in their mouths. Jim Wang, a financial educator, explained the trouble with, Chase, with the Chase Bank glitch mania and warned that anyone who, of those who took advantage of the issue will face serious consequences. So what people discovered over the last few days was that Chase was having problems with their ATMs. They were able to deposit checks and get their balances and were able to withdraw them, Wang said. Chase was pretty on top of it within a day. It was all fixed and the people that were doing this were seeing big holes in their accounts or huge negative balances. Wang continued, in the case of this glitch, it was just check fraud. You're going to get in huge trouble if you do something like this. Wang reiterated that if a large amount of money shows up in your bank account as a result of a bank error, customers should tell their bank immediately. Just because money appears in your account doesn't mean it's literally yours. If you spend it and are forced to pay it back, you are going to have to figure out a way to pay it back. Another expert and CEO of the Bloom Institute of Technology, Austin Allred, also took to social media to debunk the trend. So the Chase Unlimited Money glitch that went viral on TikTok was writing yourself a giant check, mobile dis depositing that check, going to an ATM to withdraw cash before the check cleared, literally just committing check fraud. And that's really all it pretty much boiled down to. These people are idiots. These people are not bright. They are not smart. I don't know, again, why anybody would engage in something like this and think that this was going to work. I really do not know. Like I said, common sense is not common. It's no way on God's green earth that I or anybody out there with sound insanity, sound mind insanity, would ever engage in something like this. Like, what is wrong with people? Like, are you that hurt for money that this is the extent that you will go? And now look at you. Now you got a lock on your account. You got a negative balance. And you're probably going to face fraud charges, which is a felony. And that's going to cost money. Money that you now don't have because all your money's locked up or gone or whatever the case may be. Hey, I don't feel bad for you. I don't feel bad for anybody who did something like this. I, I bet you don't know the next time. <laughs>